Good morning, folks. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and a soap profiling. Before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Zipper Day. You know what? There's nothing that I can say on that that isn't going to be lewd or lascivious. So we're just going to like leave it at that. All right, National Zipper Day. Happy National Zipper Day. Okay, moving on to the soap of the profile regiment. This is the first time I've ever actually used these guys, and I'm pretty excited to do so. This is this one is Fiddler's Green. Fiddler's Green is a it's a tweed based scent. Um, and as you can see coming up in a few minutes, you'll see the profile, uh, the, the commentary. Uh, I describe it as a sweet uh, tweed. And it is. It's tweed, but it has like a nice scent, a nice different scent to it. Um, it's based on Cool Water uh, by Davidoff, which is a cologne that's on the market. Anyway, so that's what we're shaving with. It's a towel based shave soap, and it smells really, really nice. We got this uh, blooming here. We're going to dump that out. And that's the soap right there right there as we can see it smells really good it, as far as the scent strength is concerned i give it probably about a seven it's not really 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 strong but it's uh not exactly what i would consider light by any means so we'll see how it handles throughout the shave moving on to the rest of the gear we have our trusty allen block i do suggest you guys have one of these i don't mention this too much i usually kind of just have it in the background these things are awesome for nothing else for maintaining grip on your gear. You start to get slick fingers, rub your fingers on this thing a little bit, and it takes away the viscosity. Now moving on to the brush. Right there, dogwood handle, synthetic knot. We're gonna go with that today. For the mowing of the head, we're looking at the Mule R41 head on top of the Parker shaving safety razor handle. Blade of choice. I've been really getting into Paul Silvers lately, but today we've changed it up a little bit. I had a chance to use one of these Persona Reds the other day. Actually, I had a couple of shaves on it and I was finishing it off. And I thought, you know, that was a pretty nice smooth shave. I think I'll go with this and continue first time on the Persona Red. Now, what are we gonna pair with this soap for the after the shave? Well, before we get into that, standard witch hazel here, peach scented. Now, I don't have, they offer uh, post-shave bombs, Regiment does. I don't have their post shave bomb, so I use what I happen to have in my den, like I think most of you should. Mix and match your stuff. See what goes together, you'd be surprised. This actually does go together. It's Sharp Dress Man by Sterling. This is a tweed, and uh, it's a lot heavier, kind of like what I was talking about before. It's not a sweet, uh, sweet tweed. It's just a heavier scented tweed. I think this would go well with this soap it paired nicely. So, <clears throat> we got our soap, uh, we got our soap, soaked ready to go we're going to load up this blade and we're going to get right into loading up the brush we'll be right back regiment shaving company is a company based out of riverside california owned and operated by eric trio his company hit the shaving scene in 2016 and has been one of the more well-known companies ever since his website has several different offerings all with a military motif when eric left the military he wanted nothing to do with shaving and grew a beard for a while then realized the beard wasn't for him and that there had to be a better way to shave than what was currently offered on the market. And thus, Regiment was born. This particular one, Fiddler's Green, is a tweed-based shave soap. This is tallow-based and comes in a 3.5-ounce metal tin with a screw top and waterproof label. The name Fiddler's Green is based on a poem that was written to honor the fabled afterlife of the same name for sailors who served at least 50 years at sea. I asked Eric why he chose this particular offering to put in his lineup, and he said, simply like the scent profile. He said that when Davidoff's Cool Water came out, it was a hit and way more affordable than all the other creeds on the market. He said that currently it is his top seller. My take on it? It's a sweet creed. It doesn't have the heaviness that a standard creed would have. It kind of drifts off at the end of the profile. In the beginning, it more or less shakes your hand and then tips its hat gently and fades away. To me, this is a perfect scent to be used anytime, anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We've got our blade loaded up in our razor, ready to go. You know, I hear a lot of people say, make sure you check the blade alignment when loading certain, or when you're loading your razors. And that is something that you should probably get into a good practice of doing. But there are razors out there where you don't really have to check the blade alignment per se, because it locks it in. 
this is one of them. It, it puts it in there every time, right, I mean, perfectly even. So I don't really have to worry about that on that one because just the way that the blade sits in there, it locks it up. So again, here's the soap, loaded that off. As you can see, I hardly touched it. I loaded it for about a minute and here we are. All rocking and rolling and ready to go. So let's throw some water on our head. I'll lather the head up and get this shave going and we'll talk about everything else in the potion. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us. As you can see, Dome of Perfection, DOP status. I'm gonna throw a little bit of witch hazel on. While we work on the post shave. So, the scent of the soap remained strong throughout the entire shave. It did stay, I'd say in the upper, past five anyway. Anyway, it ranged between five and 10, depending on uh, you know what stage I was at and whether I was the later stage of the shave. I do shave quite a bit, as you all know. However, or I do a lot of passes, I should say. But the protection was definitely there. Cushion, glide. A, a residual slickness wasn't overly large, but on that, on this one, but you know, it wasn't not there. It just wasn't crazy. Um, but as you can see, it didn't affect me at all. So I was pretty happy with that. I would absolutely use this soap again. And in fact, I do plan on using this soap again, the Regiment Fiddler's Green. I like this scent quite a bit. I thought the performance was pretty pretty decent. I did not like it by any means. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm gonna be going with this. I have another one of these that I'm gonna be profiling shortly. We'll get into that on another video. But as far as this one is concerned, thumbs up for me and I would go for it. So check out, uh, I'm gonna do the post shave with the Sterling's um, Sharp Dress Man. As far as the aftershave or post shave bomb for these guys. I can't speak to that because I don't have it, but the soap, I think it's great. So here we go. Yeah. And the face too. Didn't shave the face today, but whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. Thank you very much for joining me. I am Chad, and if you, if you like this video, give, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Make sure you knock the bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you all for joining me, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.